Hello everybody, Chris here from Halis Clouds Games, bringing you another first look at an exciting new title, this time using the power of Xbox Cloud Gaming, right here, and of course, Game Pass. I'm here with my trusty Xbox controller, uh, and my PC setup, streaming this in the cloud, of course, Plague Tale Requiem from Focus Entertainment and Sobo Studios, the sequel to the wonderful wonderful title a plague tale innocence if you've not checked that game out definitely have a look at that before you dive into this game uh, just released this past week of course october the 18th 2022 uh, straight into game pass you can buy it on other platforms of course uh, but i'm here today to check out our continued adventures with hugo and amicia in medieval france of course this game is also known as the game with the rats as you can see, it has a lot of rats. I'm very excited to dive into this one. I'm going to do a full playthrough. I can't not wait for it. And I'm excited to get into it. But before I do, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe, and hit the channel so you're kept in the loop with all of the amazing content we do here at Helix Cloud Games. Not only do we have orchestral choir music in the background, we also have a wonderful Xbox podcast, the x -Pass podcast. We have a PlayStation podcast, Talking the PS, and we have a weekly cloud gaming show where we round up all of the cloud gaming news in a topical, discussional format. Plus live streams, gameplay, giveaways, much, much more, and a very vibrant Discord. But you knew all that already. You're here to see Plague Tale Requiem. So let's get into it with all this music. It goes crazy. Let's see where we're at with this one. Um, very early previews of this game look fantastic the game i mean the original game looked gorgeous this one looks even better of course done on quite a, a low budget in triple a triple a standards uh, i'm happy with all this i just want to get through the introduction with plague tale requiem uh, of course playing this on cloud difficulty cloud difficulty cloud gaming difficulty normal in fact listening mode i'm fine with all the standard stuff i won't bore you all with that here folks but i'm super excited to get into this one if you've not played the first one, it leaves on such a grand scale that I'm hoping continues in this story. Thirteen forty-nine, Amicia and Hugo de Rune fled their homeland, a land devastated by war, rats, and the forces of the Inquisition, who sought to get their hands on the young boy and the unearthly power he inherited. Along the country lanes, they have found a little peace with their mother. Beatrice and their companion Lucas, an alchemist. They are now discovering the county of Provence, where they hope to learn more about the macula, the sickness that runs through Hugo's veins. Chapter 1 Under a New Sun. Of course, early footage of this game, the trailer and such, showed off a, a slightly brighter and more sunbaked environment than we were familiar with in the original. The original was very dark. Set in France. I will throw subtitles on as soon as we've escaped whatever we're running from. There's little Hugo. So he's he's not much older, if anything. This is a trick. You're going too fast for me. Hey, slow down. You'll exhaust our villain. This is your tower. It's evil. <laughs> Doesn't he ever get tired? Nope. I really should get back to studying. Come on. We had a long journey today. Please, Mother said to try to exhaust him. <laughs> Game looks really good so far. Be brave, sorcerer. Your fight is far from over. Now, what I did really enjoy about the first one was the the story and the characters. The very strong narrative, very lovable characters to start with as well. Right, where am I at? Language, text language, display subtitles. Yes, yes, please. There we go. Follow King Hugo, let's go. See what King Hugo is up to. This definitely makes a difference from the first game. The, the ruins of a castle, it would look like. Let's go. Oh, I'll move away from him then. Oh no, he sticks with me. 
He's sweating like a hog. Uh, plant life looks very varied and colourful. I like it. A good bit of lavender there. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Hugo. Wow, Lucas the Perfidious. Yes. Oh, here he goes. Ah, I know what we're doing here. Good old-fashioned game of hide and seek. Oh, let's go. Um, I mean, surely we just run away completely. Uh oh, crap. Is this a good hiding place? I don't know what the rules are. Did I just have to hide in the purple? Either way, of course, anyone who played the first game will also remember that Hugo has a big affinity for plant life, and one of the collectibles within the game is to go around and find uh, find all of his little flowers. And he puts them in Amicia's hair. It's, it's quite cute. Oh, there he is. Now, can he see me? Oh, what? Nope. Uh, run away. It's over. You're too evil. So, Come on, don't despair. We, we could definitely just outrun him. Are we supposed to hide in here? I think we have to move around more to keep out of sight, my king. Now this is obvious. He's right there. Okay, so he found us. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now does it just want us to avoid him rather than actually hide and swear? Right here he comes. Let's try this again, Chris. <clears throat> now the great thing with this introduction is he doesn't kill me if he finds us. It's just a nice little game. Okay, so he's over there. So I take it, it just wants us to move around. Creep away. Oh, little bit of a uh, little bit of break up there. Apologies if there's audio distortion. After all, this is. Uh oh, uh oh, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Ah! After all, this is cloud gaming, so you will get sometimes a drop in frames. Where's he gone? You know what? We should hunt him too. We should hunt him. <laughs> but I've lost him. Scare Lucas. Now we should if he's went around this way. Where could you be? Oh there he is. Oh we've got him. I don't know why I'm leaning left. I'm leaning left. Right, we've got him here, surely. Scared the cloak off of him. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I'll get back to studying now. Lucas. Well, if I want to become. Could play a little bit longer. But you are an alchemist. I'm still mother's apprentice. All right, go and study. We'll stay a little longer. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye, indeed. Come on then, Hugo. Let's go check out the castle. Me too. We wouldn't be here if not for him. Now, what I do recall from the first one is there wasn't much of an overlay, so the game was very kind of like hood-free. You would just play the game. You'd have a little pop-up menu for your weapon wheel. Just don't fall. I never fall. Yes, sure. King Hugo betrayed parts of his great world. Assassin's Creed. What can you see from up there? My kingdom. Is it prosperous? It was, but then Lucas attacked. Oh yes, the oh. infamous sorcerer. Oh, a river. It's the Hashtag at Lucas there. Let's patrol there. Let's go then. Let's go. Are we sprinting? Whoa. No, we're not. Very Got a big red cross for that one. No. Oh. Is your frontier? Yes. <laughs> Why not? It's invade. The Amazon. Enemy ships coming. They're going to attack the Right, stay behind the log the army. and take I down the sorcerer's the army, army, aka One down. <laughs> the floating things he throws in yes. the river. Are they pine cones? <laughs> no now the sling, system. super cool weapon. <laughs> that sound effect, mm, satisfying. The king applauds. The king's the one sending them. Many 
Now, you can use your weapon throughout the game for... It's more like a little bit of puzzle solving, attacking enemies and such. Oh, there's a person. You heard our sling. Get him in the head. No. Mm. Oh. Tony. Tona. Okay. I feel like this kid's trouble. I mean, he could just be an innocent kid. The, the first game may have... Uh, may have made me cautious of threats from any... Jeez, how many pine... It's the attack of the pine cones. Not getting past me, pine cones. Come on, cannon boy, do something more. I mean, she's a hell of a shot with this. Uh... Oh, there we go. She's one hell of a shot with that slingshot. Oh, he's gonna like smash his own head in or something. So we're definitely dodgy about him. He was nice. Come along, my king. The war is over. Let's keep following this river. Hmm. Don't know what that. So don't know what that lad's up to. Don't trust him. So we defended Hugo's kingdom. Nice. Terrific stuff. The attack yes. of the pine cones was survived. I, have a friend like him. I know, but we'll settle down soon, and you'll make friends. You're sure? As soon as we know how you're doing. Hmm. Well, now we're away from the uh, Inquisition. Not this time. This time is different. I know it. The, uh, the detail and the textures looks a lot we'll more improved from the first game, which I guess is what you'd expect, but... Just kidding. I'll help you. Up you go. Yeah, Uncharted style is going to help. One day I'll be able to. Come on, then. Now, that was one of the endearing things about this game, was the, the partnership that you had with Hugo. Because he's such an innocent child. It is huge. What do, you say? do we attack it? All right. I'm ready. Now, charge! Charge! <laughs> I hope there's no actual guards in this castle. He's shattered. Listen to him. Close, Captain. What do we do? Let me see. Mm, ah, yeah. It's locked up tight. Go this way. It's always a side door. We learn in Lord of the Rings, there's always a side door. It's a bit dark. Come on, my king. They don't expect us to sneak in. Yes. Very bad location for a side entrance into a castle, I will say that. Oh, I think the sorcerer's men are close. Really? Shh. Sorcerer's men. Oh! Actually, jump scared me a little bit, that. I thought we were going to slowly open the door, not actually fall through the floor. You immediately regret that decision. Yes. Amicia, there are food and clothes. Mm. People live here. We've broken oh. their ceiling. Ew. Maybe they heard. Let's just be careful for that. Yeah, definitely. Let's uh, tread lightly. Mm. It smells like a fireplace. Grim. Yes. Some meat action going on there. Can we climb out there? Nope. Let's uh, just leave, shall we? There we go. Oh no, we're inside. It's recent. These baskets, they're beehives. But why are they burnt? Hmm. I don't know. They're burnt Let's hives. Let's be discreet and get out. Let's be discreet. Let's still low. Let's go into like gamer crouch mode where our our quads get such a strong workout. Yeah, this is fresh. Now, nice how do we not see the smoke? Where are the people? From far off. Did that kid do it? The cannonball kid come back and torch the entire village? 
<laughs> in, a, in a rage. Very ominous music here. There's pots and stuff. So were they gathering honey? Honey? Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Something's going to happen. Is that a body? It's a person. Oh, she's right there. Oh, that is the beehive man. How many of you are there? Wait. We didn't mean to trespass. We fell here by accident. We'll leave if you show us how. Lies. I swear. I don't know what's happening here, but we have nothing to do with it. Lies. You bloody thieves. I'll cut you to pieces. What? That seems like a very big overreaction. To come to that, that door. Surely not. Oh, I was thinking the door was fake. Oh, the door is locked. Oh, I mean, he's really slow, to be fair. Okay, I tried to beat the system by going over the fence. I, I wouldn't worry, Hugo. The guy's clearly not that fast at the rate. We just outran him there. Right, quick. Slee squeeze through. He can't follow because he's got a big head. A big beehive head. Thieves. Is there more than one of them? Oh, there's another one. Oh, is he going down? Oh, can they still see us? I don't have any weapons. Oh, ho, ho. We just have to outrun these beehive men? It looks like they're going to kill us. Ah. Thankfully, two children are... Oh, oh, crap. No. Okay, then. So, the beehive people, quite brutal. I kind of expect it to be hidden in the grass a little bit more. But let's uh, let's have a second attempt at that. Yeah, so when we drop down... Is it because I was moving, maybe? Oh! Oh, his head was stuck to it. Uh-oh. I'll remain no. silent in the tall grass to stay visible. The last we got. Well, kill them if you find them. We must get out of here. Yes, Greg. They're crazy. Yes, they are crazy. They're wearing beehives for masks. What a mess. Oh. Meat and honey. Because they want to see us. I mean, their vision must be restricted on account of the beehive heads. Randad. Yep. Let's keep moving. Always keep moving. Oh. There may still be some of them around. Go help the others. I don't feel well, Matthias. I don't give a damn. It's whatever. Oh, I know how we distract these guys. I remember from the first game. It will make a noise. Right, okay, so if you're stealthy, you can pull them by hand. So you've got rock with a sling or rock with a hand. Ah, so that's how we arch our shots this time. Right. Ba-ding! What was that noise? Classic. Oh, poor, poor dog. Shout out to Leo. To dog from the first game. I mean, we probably shouldn't have gone playing in the middle of a field on our own. Right, is he is he on a loop? Uh oh. Oh I see it now. Do we Oh, Tona's the boy. Quick. Up you get. Up you get. Oh, the beehive man's going to get us. Right, straight into the grass. Let's stay low. Let's stay low. Now, I wonder if this Tonin boy is going to join us on the adventure. Right, we seem safe over here, so let's keep moving. Stay it. So they see so they these guys are the beehive people with the honey, and they're killing. I mean, it looked like some people who they traded with. Did she say now? Oh yeah, yeah. 
distract. Okay, so why slash triangle is a big uh, last minute distraction if they come close, I take it. Right, okay. Oh. That was close. Hmm, interesting. So we need to distract that guy. So the, the, they know the boy. They're looking for the boy. So the boy must be on their team. And he's in trouble because he was the one standing guard, except for he clearly was uh, having a play with us instead. Let me see the pots. That would work. The pots, the pots, the pots. Ah, there's a pot. There it is. So we picked up a pot. Open up the menu. And throw a pot. Now, where do we want to go? Behind him, yeah? Hup. Just going to grab another pot. It's back up. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, no. Dead. What I should have done is waited until he checked out the pot. Then walked. Got a bit carried away. Now, the last time I played Plague Tale Innocence... Uh, I was doing the final run through for the the last uh, achievement, and I was playing it. I think just doing a couple of mop up of collectibles. I played it on easy, and that has probably got me in the uh, the casual approach where I'm rushing things. Whereas realistically, you want to uh, take take your time. So what I should have done is waited till this point there. And then went while he's checking out the pot. So he wants to go under there? No, surely not. The door's over here. Come on. Locked. Ah, oh, damn it. There's a hole. Ah, oh. oh, it's Hugo's turn. Oh, display viable options. Ah, oh, that's new. Okay. So, maybe later in the game we get multiple options to take a decision on. So, in the first game, it was a case of just hit Y, Hugo goes and explores. Whereas now, it seems like we want to have some variation decisions. Some maybe bad decisions, some maybe bad decisions. Yeah. Lock. Yeah. It's good to know. Okay, I've called a tonum and he said tona. French pronunciation of it, I'm sure. There's a, there's a pig. Oh, a shout out to the pig in the first game as well. Now, Hugo, I know you're a nice lad, but realistically, we're saving our own skin right now. Ah, locked. So, let's hold in the bumper. Right, so no viable options. No viable options around here then. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna chuck him up there. This isn't quite Assassin's Creed. Let's go see what the piggy's up to. Will Hugo be as impressed with the piggies as he was the first game? This one's locked as well. Nope, no option there. I like how she holds his hand, like like a sister would to a brother. Right, piggies. Oh, please! You were Dad's biggest mistake, but I will fix it. I mean, that's harsh. If they're brothers. Whoa. Who are you? We got lost. We're leaving. Just let the boy go. Seems You're harsh. Remy. <laughs> it's Re it's Remy from Ratatouille. No, we just arrived. Listen, it's our fault if he was late. You have no right to be here. Remy, you handle it. And don't disappoint me. But the boy. He's the right age to learn. You shouldn't have come. You don't want to do this, believe me. You talk too much. Oh, we've seen some things. Oh, still doesn't stop you getting the right hook to the face. Oh, that knife. Yeah, you don't mess with the meats yet. Oh, Hugo. Oh. Oh, now they've done it. If you've not played the first game, spoilers, this is the time to get out.
Dun, dun, dun. Boy still got it. Boy still got it. So something's definitely going up with the beekeepers. I feel like Tonin, Tono, can't remember how you pronounce it already. Phoenix? We're going all Harry Potter now, are we? Interesting. Now this game, again, I love the first one, so I'm, I've got really high hopes for this. And early reviews, really good stuff. Like, I'm talking game of the year, is what I'm seeing around there. On the interwebs. Amicia? Hmm. So is he dreaming, or has he blacked out and somehow washed up on the shores? I mean, a phoenix would suggest he's dreaming. Wow. Who knows what goes on in a small child's mind? He thought he was a, he thought he was a king twenty seconds ago. No. Uh oh! Oh, that music! It's starting again. I need help. Yes, you do. Let's follow the phoenix. Are you the only one here? Where's Amicia? Follow the bird. <gasps> Don't go. Oh. Breathe. Breathe. Already. The score. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. It, it, it knows going? when to add tension, when to alleviate it. But this is interesting. We didn't really get anything like this back in. Actually, before I go in the cave, let's enjoy the uh, enjoy the views. Enjoy the views. What are these deposits over there? This is oh, just plant. Oh, is it the um? Is it the same plant from the first one? I wonder. Come on, Hugo. Let's go cave exploring. They they might be through here, Hugo. They're definitely not the other way. What is this place indeed? Lucas! Where are you? I feel bad. Oh. Got a bit of particle physics going on. We do have a weeping willow tree up ahead. Maybe this is Harry Potter after all. Right, come on, let's uh. Let's get to the building. Carved into the side of a mountainside. Stop screeching and help me. Oh, this uh, sunbaked landscape seems to be taking a turn. We've got poppies? Are these red poppies? Oh, no, he's down. Uh oh. Come on, Hugo. On your feet. Oh, the... Okay, everything's gone. Oh, nope. Down again. Make it to the river. Is this dying? I hope not, Hugo. I don't want to die. There he goes. To the water's edge. Ah, the water's healing him. Interesting. Wakes up. Okay, that was different. 
from the first game. Curious. And different. And we played as Hugo. So, oh, there he is. Waking up. Look who's awake. Did you sleep well? I was dreaming. It was all a dream? What? Was it your island dream again? Yes. I... I was sick. And then there was a big bird that saved me. From Sesame Street. What happened, Alicia? At the farm? We were playing by the river, remember? But you felt very tired all of a sudden. So I carried you back and you fell asleep. That's it. Probably just a lack of salt in your blood. But, Amicia... It's been a long trip, Hugo. We're all exhausted. But the Red City's at hand. We'll get you checked there. You know, we're going to meet a great alchemist there. Ooh, I wonder if that was just foreshadowing. They know the macula very well. The macula. For centuries. Yet they didn't come to help us in Guienne before we had to flee. They didn't know the Inquisition would come after us. They are ready to welcome us now. Let's hmm. hope they'll make up. Curious. Uh, yes, of course, the Inquisition, the the villains in the first game. It concerns everybody, and it can change everything. Storms are brewing. What's that? I don't know. Be careful. Uh oh. Let's see. Folks up ahead. Hello there. Hello. What's going on? We're looking for a boy and a girl. What did they do exactly? Oh. They trespassed on That's an interesting property. screen wipe. There was an argument and men were slaughtered. The younger brother witnessed it. Oh, that's horrible. I hope you find the culprits. Oh, I do too. The boys are my nephews. Brother, we need to leave. Now. Yes. Sorry, uh, we still have quite the road ahead of us. Hello. We won't take long. <gasps> Goodbye. It's them. Whoa! So it did happen. Oh, she's gone already. <clears throat> but can he see me? Oh, damn it, Chris! He didn't know I was there. He didn't know I was there. Damn it! It's a first look video, and I've died. Oh, I'm not dead. I can't die three times. Fast unseen, yet I've ruined the whole moment already because I'm sprinting through the whole area. Can they see me still? Yeah, they know where I'm at. Right. Get them, goat. Defend me, goat. Oh, shit. Oh! Now, this definitely isn't how you're supposed to play this, but... Okay, run. Another... Another fragmented screen wipe there. That's most likely courtesy of the cloud gaming element. Now, even though that part was all stealth, I've definitely got away with something there. Oh! She says as she gets kicked in the chest. Yeah, well, not as dead as you, buddy. This took a turn very fast. So... It looks like Lucas's dream. Oh, uh, sorry, Hugo's dream wasn't a dream. Get my stuff. Counter. Oh, that's a new move. Strike. That's also a new move. Attack an enemy in close range makes noise so it alerts them. Brutal. Gotten true, but, but I do have my good old sling in the head. That's right, this is what you get, guys. Oh, he's got it. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but oh, shh. I take it back. I did, I did die three times in this first look. I did, I did my bad. Right, maybe I can do the stealthily part. No, I'm not gonna. Ah, uh, headshot. Uh, he's got an axe, so should have took him out first. Headshot. Anything to collect around here? No? No, there isn't. Okay. This isn't a collectible run, Chris, so don't get carried away. This guy knows where I'm at. Yeah! 
Can I pick up that spear? No, that would be useful, but Amicia does love her trusty, handy slingshot. Oh. Do I have unlimited ammo on this front? Right, he hasn't seen me, so stay low. <clears throat> oh. And she just called to somebody else. Does he know where I'm at? 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 He might know where I'm at. Well, you found me, but my rocks found your face first. Now, this part is definitely supposed to be all stealth, but I clearly messed that up from the get-go. So, whoa! Let's not catch fire, Chris. Now, he can... Oh, he can hear the sling. That's what the little uh, kind of Wi-Fi bar above said. Oh, quick, lock on. Lock on. Now, I'm just taking them all out. They're all dead. So, in Hugo's dream, we saved our boy Tony. But evidently, we left him behind. So, he must have told the adults. Now, I hope our family's okay. Uh-oh. Brutal. Now, I have, I do fear for the mother. If you don't help, they'll die. That was, uh, lucky. He's still breathing. It's the shock. So he just passes out in moments of fear or anger, I think. I don't know what's wrong with the meats here. It's all right. Is she it's suffering all right. from the macula too? That could be an interesting twist. But it's over. We're still surrounded by burning fire. Ooh. A plague tale requiem. That was chapter one complete under a new sun. Achievement unlocked. Chapter two, newcomers. Let's find out where we're at. No fire, that's a good start. That is a good start. I can't believe we made it. Are the people nice here? Eh. Nobody will attack us here, Hugo. This town is under the protection of the Count of Provence. He's a very powerful lord. I must say, this is beautiful. Hmm. Are you sure the alchemist is waiting for us? Well, Magister Vaudan told me he'd prepared a house for us. An entire house? Yes. The order is very old. They own houses and much, much more. They built your mother's laboratory and even the Chateau d'Ombrage, remember? Yes. It's nice they give us a house. That's because you're very important to them. <laughs> Dumb kid grin. Does he allow us to enter the city by his side? I allow. You're giving this kid a complexion. Not only does he have powers, you're giving him a complexion that he's a king. Now, I'm very interested and surprised that the mother survived that little kind of scuffle in the fire fields. Take a quick look with him. Thank you. The house is in the upper part of town. It has a phoenix weather vane. Understood. Don't touch it. Don't and touch it. Be very careful. Find anything you like? Jeez, like you've got his eyes on that watermelon. <laughs> Come. There must be plenty of other things to see. Okay, so it looks like we get a little bit of exploration well, with Hugo. Watermelon does look good. Does look good. Do we get to talk to people? Nah. Just see, he likes animals. Lots of people shopping around. Hello, piggies. Told you he likes piggies. Come taste it. In both forms. 
evidently. What have we got? Some more meat. Meat looks well rendered. Oh, geese. Untitled goose game. <laughs> Startle the geese. You don't want to mess with geese, actually. Geese are very aggressive. Uh, horse looks good. Interesting. The lip, the lip syncing on some of the dialogue, a little bit questionable. However, the last game I fully played was The Last of Us Part 1 remake, so... Can't fault Naughty Dog. You can't really compare to Naughty Dog, I should say. The Yearly Fair of St. John. Make deals at our fish auction and try your skills in a free session of a shooting game. Tomorrow's event. Is well, we know who's taking game. part in the shooting game. Get ready to our absolute marksman, Amitia. So it's John's fair. There's kids playing. We're exploring, and no doubt we'll we'll follow the street all the way up to find maybe our mother. Have you seen? What? The people here. They're smiling. Uh. <laughs> it's true. Oh, so many people that. having fun. The house with the weather vane. That's ours. That's where oh, we're going. Right house on the right hill. Right. They'll give them a fancy villa the in the sun. But we won't get it on this stream, everybody, because this is just a first look at a Plague Tale Requiem, of course. We've continued Amitia and Hugo's journey. Uh, I've enjoyed what I've played so far. It just seems to be more of the same. Graphics amplified. I'm hoping gameplay and story amplified because, as I mentioned, I really enjoyed the first one. Uh, but we'll be discussing the rest of that right here on Halo's Cloud Games, whether that be on our PlayStation podcast, Talking the PS, or on our Xbox podcast, the X Pass podcast. Or hell, we might even discuss it on this week's episode of Cloud Quest. You can find all of that right here on the channel. So click that bell, jingle it, give it a good jingle so you're subscribed. And uh, follow us on social media at Halis Cloud Games as well. So you're kept in the loop with all of the great content we do here. We do more live streams like this. We do more first looks at loads of games. And we're now very much doubling down on Game Pass and Xbox. So plenty of things to come out. Plenty of things to see. Thank you very much for tuning in as I've checked out this brand new title launched just this week. Straight into Game Pass from Asobo. Really enjoying it so far. So enjoy it. Don't get caught in the fire. And we'll see you in the next one. My name's been Chris. Take care, everyone. Enjoy.